Hello, welcome to Sparper 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm a technology instructional specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. Recently, we've been talking about how to add interactivity into our smart notebook lessons. Today, though, we're going to focus on the floating pens, and specifically how to go ahead and modify our floating pens to different colors or colors that we feel more specific we want to use for our classroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at that floating toolbar. So it goes back to our, my smart board I have up here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is, if you can see right now, I've shut off my floating tools. So I'm going to go ahead and show my floating tools. So I'm going to go back to my smart tool icon, which is going to be that blue square with a white circle. I'm going to click on that one. I notice here, as I go up, it says show floating toolbar. So I go ahead and click on that, or show floating tools specifically. So I click on that one. There is my floating tools. Now, mine happens to be on the, on the far right-hand side of my screen. Now, what I want to do to open that up is click on the double arrows. When I click on the double arrows, I can see all the different tools that I have. Now, let's say right now if I grab a pen and I start to write on the board on that, it's going to be a black pen. But let's say I didn't want a black pen. Let's say I, I wanted a black pen, but you know what? I need a red pen. So if I wanted to change the color of that pen, notice here I've got that properties tab here, that little bitty circle that's there, a little gear. If I click on that, I can go in and say, well, I want this pen to be red and save tool properties. So now when I write, it's going to be that red pen. Now the problem we may have in your classroom is, Ken, we always want to save time in our classroom. And so you may say, well, gee, that's a lot of hassle having to change colors every time I want to use a pen. So what you can do is you can add multiple pens into our, into our floating toolbar. So how do I do that? If I look here at my floating toolbar, in the very bottom, I have, again, another gear. If I click on that gear, I get a little floating toolbar. And notice I have another pen that's here. And you say, well, geez, I already have the pen that's there. Can I add another one? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that pen. I'm going to click and hold. And I'm going to drag it all the way over to my floating toolbar. And there, I'm going to drop it there. And now I'm going to click on Done. And so now I've got two pens. So here, if I wanted to, if I click on that pen, notice my default color is going to be that black color. If I want to go back now, I have a red pen, and I can go ahead and add, use that pen. So if I wanted a green pen, I can go ahead and follow the same process. I would go ahead and click on my gear. And let's say right now I've got a yellow highlighter, but let's say yellow doesn't show up with my projector in my classroom. Let's say I wanted a green highlighter. What I can go ahead and do now is drag the highlighter back over to my toolbar. I'm going to click on Done so I finish adding an item. I click on that particular piece again. Notice now I've got that gear. I click on that gear again. I'm going to go for this like, nice lime green color. Go to the very bottom of my window and say I want that to be my Save Tool Properties. And so now, notice it changed that color, and now I have a green highlighting pen that's there. So that's an easy way to modify pens that have them at your, at your fingertips. So a lot of times, again, you're in front of your class, you don't want to be changing these pen colors out all the time. You can do that ahead of time on your own and have the colors that you wanted for you uh, at, your, at your convenience. But that's sort of, this pretty much wraps it up for today's segment, how to modify our floating toolbar. I hope you liked our segment today, and have a great day.